Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a cooldown timer layout. Now what this does is when I press this button right here, this turn will turn on and shoot. The light will turn from green to red and when the light is red, it will not shoot again. So watch, let me show you. Press the button, turns on and it shoots. The light is red so if I press the button again, nothing will happen. The only time it will shoot is when the light up here is green. So if I press it now, now it works and shoots again. Now, I am the original creator of this. I haven't seen any other copies of this out of Pixel Worlds. There may be something that's similar, but I am believed to be the original creator of this. So let's get into it and I'll show you how it works and how to make it. Now, these are going to be the things that you need to make this. You're gonna need two signal holder gates, one delayed timer gate, one not gate, one XOR gate, one AND gate, one form of light, meaning like a torch, a lantern, something that lights up, and one button. All right, now this is what the layout for the cooldown timer looks like. I'm gonna try explaining it to you in chunks cause a couple things are happening at once. So I'm gonna explain the on part where when you turn it on, it activates this. You'll see what I mean. So when I press this button, it sends a signal to the XOR gate right here. And when this receives one on signal, it sends an on signal. And when this sends an on signal, it sends it to the AND gate. And this AND gate is has a it's inputted from the button as well. So when this XOR gate turns on, it's sends a signal to the AND gate and the button sends a signal to the AND gate as well. And when this receives two on signals, it sends a signal to the signal holder. Now I chose a signal holder because it sends an on signal for however long you want it to stay on for. And that allows you to customize whatever you're activating, however long you want it to stay on. Now I'm going to try to explain to you why it turns off after you press the button. So when you press the button, this delay timer gate has an automatic delay on it. So when you place it, you don't need to touch this one at all. So when you press the button, this sends a signal to the signal, the delay timer gate. And this has a small delay, which sends a signal to the signal holder. Now, by the time that happens, this has already shot. And the signal holder, this right here is what controls how long you want the cooldown for whatever you're activating to be. So when you press the button, it sends a signal to this. Signal, signal delay gate and then the signal holder gate and then it shoots and when the signal holder gate receives a signal it stays on which sends a signal to the XOR gate now since this signal sends a signal to the XOR gate it would activate but it wouldn't activate the AND gate because the button is not pressed but since this is on and it sends a signal to the XOR gate if you press the button again and send two on signals to the XOR gate which turns it off which the AND gate only has one on input that's why that AND gate is there for okay now this signal holder is as well connected to the NOT gate right here and as you know the NOT gate just sends out the opposite signal so the signal the NOT gate signal is connected to this light which is what which is what it tells you if it's on or off and ready to shoot so when this signal holder sends a signal to the NOT gate it turns on and it sends out an off signal to this which turns the light red okay now that was a lot to talk about but i'm pretty sure we we watch the video a little bit or just take a screenshot or whatever and look at it i'm pretty sure you will understand it but i'm going to show you it in action now so if i press the button it sends a signal to everything and then it shoots and the xor gate is on because the signal holder so if i press it again the xor gate sends an off signal and the and gate needs two on signals that's why the and gate is there for like i said and now that the light is green now it can shoot again so if it shoots yeah there you go now remember this signal delay gate you do not need to touch at all so don't touch this at all the signal holder right here this one this is what controls how long you want the delay gate the delay to be or not the delay, the cooldown, sorry. This controls the, how long you want the cooldown to be. And this controls how long you want the thing you're activating to stay on for. The not gate is for the light switch, and yeah. 
I hope this video was helpful and you guys can use this in whatever creations you're making and hope you guys have fun with this and you guys learned something new. Bye bye.